Assalamualaikum and welcome to another Zilfit TV episode. My name is Azmir and in today's vlog episode, I want to show you um, an atypical day um, here for me in Zilfit. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is actually um, send over some equipment to um, the customer's house and um, also do some installation. Now, why is this atypical? Because I don't do installation anymore. Uh, I used to do it like four years ago, for three or four years ago, uh, when I installed equipment in uh, for Celebrity Fitness, Fitness First. And at that time, I had a full-time job. And uh, fortunately, the installation was done uh, usually after midnight. And um, I've done quite a, quite a bit because they were probably, I don't know, maybe seven, eight or 10 uh, of, sort, uh, of such installations at night. And they usually go on for about four or five hours. And I'll get home by about five or six. And then by nine o'clock, I had to be in the office again. So uh, it was tiring. And I thought that the experience was just enough for me to last a life lifetime <laughs> of installation. Uh, I've done a few more uh, after that on um, some customers' um, home gyms, but um, as a general rule, I don't do the installations anymore, and I usually hire someone to, to do it for me. Um, but in this case, the, the thing that I have to install is just the um, galvanized half right, which is not too difficult and should not take too much of my time. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm just going to pack everything and put everything right at the back so that when the truck comes, then you can just load it up and then send the equipment first and then I'll just head over to the customer's uh, house and uh, do the installation, inshallah. So for now, I'm just going to move everything that he ordered to the back of the warehouse. All right, let's go. All right, so the first thing that uh, I want to set aside is this uh, lock jaw collar. So that's one of the things that he wants. And um, next is a used 5 kg plates. So these are going out to him as well. Next, we have the training plates and uh, uh, sport training plates to be, to be exact and I need to take them out from the storage rack. Um, so there are a couple of 10 kg sport training plates and a pair of uh, 20 kg colored plates. So those are on, those two are in different uh, pallets. So I need to get them out and then put it somewhere. Technically, I can just use the um, manual stacker over there, but once you've got a hang on the reach truck, you do not want to use the manual stack anymore because it's so much more convenient to use this reach truck. And I've mentioned this before, this has got to be the best thing that I've invested in recent times. Reverse a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. Yep. Bring it down. No biggie. Just back it up a little bit more. Bring it down. Okay, and then take out the ten kgs. Oh, uh, maybe I'll just set it here. Okay. Oh. oh. Two. Oh. 
So these are the brand new Eleco 20kg plates with the new Eleco logo. Next, I want to uh, bring all the galvanized half rack to the back. Okay, so I can just use the um, pallet jack right here, and that should be. Well, I might run into some problems because I might not have enough space to maneuver between these two pallets. Uh, let's see what I can do. Yep, nope. I don't think, I don't think that's going to work. So, set this down. The easiest would be to move the pallet with the light rack right over here. Oh, uh, can I do that? Oops. Okay. okay, let's see if this can pass through. Uh, I want to try to do it this way because this would be a much better way to actually but I have to move this to the side move this part inside okay move this all the way to the side okay as you can see, this is why I don't like to do deliveries because I'm usually alone and um, it's difficult to do this by yourself without getting too tired, you know. Uh, and the problem with being too tired is that you sometimes lose focus and you tend to pay less attention to details and that could lead to either you getting hurt or that you damage the equipment during the process which i don't want to do so next i'm going to take one hybrid bar from this particular uh, barbell rack i actually have this bar marked for another customer however he has said that he will not take three of these bars instead he will only take two so alhamdulillah after he confirmed that he doesn't want three bars i managed to sell this one to this particular customer that i will be delivering this bar to alhamdulillah so let me see half rack done five kg disc done adjustable bench Yes, adjustable bench. Okay, that's another one. Hybrid bar done, sport training plates done, lock jaw done. Okay, so that means we only have the adjustable bench as well as the open deadlift bar, which is upstairs. But let's just move the adjustable bench out first. Okay, so I think I'm done with putting all the uh, orders out at the, at the back of the warehouse uh, as you can see right there that's the uh, open deadlift bar and uh, one thing that I want to mention is that um, most of the items that the customer purchase is uh, actually uh, some showroom units and some of them are brand new items I will basically let the customer know that this is the used item this is the condition uh, whether it's flooded or not flooded um, that's because i believe that you know part of the requirement or at least um, on how i do business uh, as a muslim right uh, i have to be honest because these are not cheap items and i don't want to swindle people that's not the that will that will never be my intention if something is damaged and if i even even if i lose money from 
from that particular transaction, I will gladly lose money um, uh, as long as the customer understands that this is the condition of the equipment and that because of this, let's say if there's a defect or whatnot, this is not going to be something that is covered under warranty again because I've already explained to them that the, I've already explained to them the condition of the items as well as we've already reduced the price to reflect um, the defects, right? So with this customer's order, galvanized half rack, as I mentioned, flood or no flood, it's the same. It's supposed to weather the storm, you know, so to speak. Um, the open day lift bar was was flooded, but nothing is nothing is um, damaged or rusted. I've already give it a slight gloss. I just clean it up a little bit, and then uh, we have the the bench that I was sitting on. So that was also flooded, but I already dried, it, dried them out, and I've I've actually told him the missing parts of the bench and whatnot. So he has agreed to take it. The five kg plates, um, they look used and worn, but he 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 said that uh, that's not a big concern for for him and of course the the bar the bar was not flooded but there was water splashed on the on the um on the cover so but i've already opened up to check the sleeves to see whether or not water actually seeped into the the bearings which uh, it didn't so alhamdulillah so all of these items i gave him at uh, the very very i would say a very good and generous discount uh, again, just to reflect the condition of the equipment. And uh, obviously, now all I have to do is to call Lalamove, which is the transportation um, service that I usually use. And um, after that, send the equipment to his place and, um, I'll, and then I'll just drive there myself uh, to do the installation. Before we head on over to the customer's uh, house, um, these are the things that uh, we need to have number one is the uh, impact drill as I've mentioned before with the um, 24 hit uh, yeah you can see that 24 mm and then you need the spanner also 24 obviously then I'm gonna bring up bring this back up uh, I believe this is a top wrench also uh, with a 24 attachment head so the reason I'm bringing this particular top wrench is because just in case if somehow this doesn't work, then I need this, okay? And the last thing that I'm gonna bring is the credit card machine. So either if the customer wants to transfer uh, using credit, tra transfer the balance using the credit card, you can use this machine, uh, otherwise you can do bank transfer. So basically all of these things uh, is to make my life easier. Okay, so Lala Move is here and we're gonna take everything and then just put it inside the van. So I'm gonna show that really tired because I, I mentioned in this video that Apuni, I seldom do installation anymore again because of this. <laughs> Very tired. Uh, anyway, I'm at the customer's house right now and uh, we should be able to install the uh, governor's half rack and the bench and he should have plenty in, in, in fact he has quite a bit of space to do uh, a lot of workout so we're going to start um, with the uh, rack and then should be done within half an hour or less okay guys so um, it took us a little i think less than half an, half an hour to actually uh, install the uh, half rack that you see behind me and uh, if let me just show you around the room it's not I think it's a, it's not that big and it's a typical room in a terrace house here in Malaysia but it's, it just goes to show you that uh, you don't actually need a big space to, to start your own home gym, right? Obviously you need, there's a minimal requirement especially when you're doing some barbell work um, like the length of the bar and also the, the place where you want to lift actually so um, but otherwise not essentially you don't need um, a big space and if you can't have a space like for this uh, governor's half rack, you can always opt for a squat stand, which is smaller and it's more easier to, um, it's more mobile, right? So you can just uh, keep it 
uh, I mean, close to the wall. Uh, once you, you're done with it, and uh, it's easy to collapse it, and then to just move it again and assemble it again, uh, things like that. So just basically no excuses, right? I think that's it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please don't forget to click that. Uh, thumbs up button and uh, if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, don't uh, turn on the notifications so that whenever we post a new video you will be notified I uh, guess that's it um, I'm heading off to another appointment now and uh, I hope that the customer will enjoy this um, uh, this equipment and that it will last uh, forever and ever <laughs> and that uh, he will you know and that he will enjoy lifting with, with this equipment. Uh, thanks again to the customer for allowing me to um, videotape this. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching this particular episode. See you in the next one. Ciao.